Swadikrap, and welcome to Thailand News Today, a day in fact that is the 44th anniversary of the Tamasat University massacre that occurred on October the 6th, 1976. We've actually uploaded a separate video that you can watch that will give you a bit of background as to what happened, a bit of the history of the time and an invitation to go and see a pop-up museum at the Tamasat University that's on at the moment. But for now, let's check today's main news stories. Well, today we learned that the Thai government is considering to ease restrictions a little bit further for foreign business people who are wanting to come to Thailand for business. Up to date, around 11,000 business people and work permit holders have been granted entry by the CCSA since they started allowing some foreigners back into the country after July. All arrivals have to submit to a mandatory 14-day quarantine, as does anyone arriving from overseas at the moment. A government spokesman says that making life easier for foreigners trying to enter Thailand for business or investment purposes is vital to economic survival. Thailand's economy has been decimated by the fallout of the COVID-19 pandemic, with many arguing that it's now time to reopen the borders. Just days into his new post, the new chief of the Thai police is clarifying some of the comments he's made about closing down roadside checkpoints. He says the new rule only applies to drink driving checkpoints, which he says must first pass transparency checks and show the tests of blood alcohol levels return accurate results. All roadside checkpoints will need to comply with strict rules and operate to a certain predefined standard, while unauthorised checkpoints will be investigated and shut down. Other checkpoints, including those installed for crime prevention, to monitor traffic, to check for drugs or to check for illegal migrants, violating the COVID-19 restrictions, will continue to work as normal. Thailand is lifting a six-month ban on international tourism, but there's a lot of confusion as to exactly when the first people on the new special tourist visa will arrive. Many reports say the tourists should arrive this Thursday, but a recent report from a respected Thai media outlet claims the plans are being delayed. Many reports, including from the National News Bureau of Thailand, run by the Public Relations Department, says a group of Chinese nationals will arrive this Thursday, flying directly from China to Phuket on a chartered Air Asia flight endorsed by the CCSA. But a recent report from the Thai language business journal, Tan Setakit, says there's been a delay due to many points in process. The tourists should arrive before October 20. Last week, Phuket's governor said during an event that he'd not been officially informed about the plans to have tourists arrive at the Phuket International Airport this Thursday, saying he'd only read the news in the media. Well, the Sarasas private schools are still in hot water. Now it's been discovered that seven of their teachers are in fact illegal. All seven have been found to be employed without work permits. All 42 Sarasas private schools are currently in the spotlight after allegations of abuse of students surfaced in recent weeks, including incriminating CCTV evidence. The seven illegal teachers admit to being employed at the school since July of this year, receiving a cash salary of around 17,000 baht. All seven are now in police custody. And a businessman heading up an economic recovery panel has dramatically suggested that if Thailand doesn't reopen its borders to tourism in the final quarter this year, it's headed for total economic collapse. Palin Shu Shotawan, a former CEO of the PTT petrochemical company, says the gradual easing of COVID restrictions in recent months is not enough, insisting the country must reopen to international tourists. Palin says that while Thailand has been successful at controlling and eventually suppressing the COVID-19 virus, it's been at great economic cost. He's dismissive of the special tourist visa scheme, saying it does not go far enough. He's also criticised the hoops foreigners must jump through to obtain a visa. He said currently tourism is an important priority. If the country does not reopen, it will be hard for GDP to grow because the country's economy depends mainly on the tourism industry 
and exports. Well, that's the latest on Thailand news today. For all the latest news, you can go to thetiger.com and we've got a Facebook page where you can read all sorts of fascinating comments and that is just simply called The Tiger, T-H-A-I-G-E-R. But for now, thanks for joining us and we'll see you tomorrow.